Welcome to my Fantasy Golf Weekly Picks. Uh, leave your league connections in the comments section so that I can join you and you can join me in a weekly competition to see who can score the most points based around the DP World Tour Fantasy Golf Game. This was the first week in a while that I managed to get all of my six picks through to the weekend. That meant an over 1,000 points total and a good jump up in the overall rankings. It also meant that I pulled clear of my friend Nigel who I've been batting with all season. He's a member of my golf club so the picks are usually part of the weekend banter after we've played our own golf. Having the winner in my selections also helped my points total greatly. Billy Horschel always enjoys his visits to the European circuit and he defeated both Tristan Lawrence and the unlucky Rory McIlroy in a playoff. McIlroy has finished bridesmaid for the second week in a row. Indeed, his season has consisted of far too many near misses for a player of his calibre. Rob McIntyre, Tommy Fleetwood and Shane Larry all finished in a tie for 12th, and with Tommy being my captain, that helped my overall points haul as well. Adam Scott unfortunately never really got going, and he was lucky to make the weekend, getting just in on the cut line. Meanwhile, Arne Ray once again finished strongly for fourth place, with only the playoff players above him in the rankings. The Spanish Open from Madrid is this week's tournament, and while I remain faithful with a number of my picks, I have rolled the dice a little with four of them. Tommy Fleetwood once again gets my captain's armband, and I'll probably save his last pick for the season closer. Aaron Ray is deservedly back in again, and then I shake it up a bit. John Ram supports his home tournament on one of his rare visits from the live circuit. His form hasn't been great this season, but you just can't ignore such a big fish in a small pool. Matt Wallace has had a fine run of recent form with a tight 12th, a 1st place, an 8th place and a tight 41st in his last 4 starts. And it's his 4th time in my team. Mario Manasero is also in a rich vein of form with a 4th and 3rd place in his last 2 starts. And it's lovely to see the Italian back playing at his best. I followed him at the Irish Open for a few holes and was really impressed with his ability to get up and down from difficult situations. My final pick is another live visitor in Terrell Hatton who can of course blow hot and cold and I'm hoping his form blows hot this week and not his temper. Well that's it for this week. Only five tournaments on the, until the DP World Tour playoffs. So I'm having to be tactical with some of my picks as I know they will be featuring in the latter stages and I won't have access to them. For example, Fleetwood and Wallace will not feature again in my selections until the season closure. Once again, thanks for watching. And by the way, drop me a comment on where you play, your handicap range and your age range, etc. And do enjoy your own weekend's golf. 